So, a couple things I want to I wanna make this as brief as possible. A couple things I want to address, I want to talk about. Um, number one, calmness. Calmness is everything. And calmness has to be taught. There's a common denominator that I'm seeing of all the dogs I'm working with and um, the client's dogs. It's always, the common denominator is the handler. It's always the owner that speaks with this uppity, um, uppity tone all this um unnecessary praising all this baby talk oh you're so handsome you're so pretty hand wrestling with the dog um getting the dog excited when it doesn't need to be excited and just keep in mind that the general behavior of the dog the more a dog acts a certain way that's generally who they become so if you're 24 7 always interacting with your dog with this hyper hyper energy and this all this unnecessary um, excitement you're conditioning your dog to be an excited dog and an excited dog that wags his tail is not always a happy dog that's the misconception that most people have um, I see so many anxious anxious dog with separation anxiety um, fearful dogs um, fair aggression is all caused by this and it's so easy to stop just stop babying your dog and stop talking to your dog in that manner Tr even when you're training your dog it's you, you see the training I do with the puppy very calm a marker word marker word is good that's my marker word I give it the command when it's in that command good and let the dog know that Oh, sorry. That um, that ex oh my god. That exact moment, whatever it's doing, it's the it's the right thing. That's what a marker word is for. You're letting them know, know exactly what they're doing right now. That exact moment, it's good. And people praise their dogs the wrong timing. Timing is everything. If you're praising it, always be wary of your dog's state of mind. If you're praising it when it's excited, um, you're, you're, you're telling it it's good to be excited. And confidence is built through a calm dog. A calm dog is, is not a reactive dog. You know, it's a, a excited dog is a dog that acts instinctually. It's a dog that don't listen unless you trained, unless you trained the dog under excitement. If you're if you're using a dog for um, 
performing a work task or um, retrieves, for example, like retrieves, sent work, whatever it is. But the job, but that that's a different topic. I don't want to go off on the tangent. But the general pet owner, general pet owner, don't need the dog to be excited. Um, it's too much excitement. If there's an on and there's also an on and off um, button when I um, on and off kind of like an on and off switch when I when I'm with my dogs if we're doing retrieves if we're in the um, they know you know ex- excitement is good and it's controlled excitement all this it's all it's structured everything has to be structured be be a stable leader guide your dogs you don't want to be this um, unstable frantic hectic leader that seems like they they have nothing in control let your dog know you're calm assertive you have their environment taken care of they don't have to be reactive be calm everything is good they they take in everything that you do your body language your your, your tone um the way you handle the way you handle them the way you play with them the way you praise them you know the way how much discipline you're, they're getting it's what they're getting away with it's they're absorbing all of this and it's it's piecing together what you are to them and the relationship you have with them and all this excitement baby talk it doesn't translate to love not at all so don't so don't for a second think that's love it's not um even when i'm playing with the even when i'm playing with the dogs with um the puppy with toys it's 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 real structured real structured and it's calm it's calm or if it's or it's you know controlled excitement um and that's another topic toys i don't want to get too much into it but toys is supposed to be an engagement tool it's supposed to be a relationship bonding um with you and your dog and you shouldn't be leaving it around the house that's how resource guarding that's 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 where resource guarding starts um, the dog starts to see the toy, the rope, whatever it is, as theirs. And another dog walks by growling because it's resource guarding. Um, you take it, you you can eliminate that by just taking it away when you're done with the toy, when you're done playing with your dog. And you're letting your dog know, I'm in control. We play when we play. When I say we play, we stop when, when we stop. You all of this every little thing you do with your dog just improves general behavior um but back to calmness even training when you're praising your dog you want to be always always watching the body language of your dog seeing make sure you're not praising at the wrong time you don't want to you want to keep your dog calm before you praise it before you give it that marker word if you can see the all the dogs that come to me, all the clients' dog, my dogs, dogs I work with, they don't need help um, getting excited. They they all they all need help finding inner peace, finding calmness, finding you know, um, being more confident, and that's through calmness. Um, it's because all their life they had no structure, no guidance, nobody told them how to behave except for you know all of this hand wrestling and flipping the dog pushing the dog um um baby talking screaming you know it's very calm keep everything black and white be very stable be very clear be very clear of what you like and what you don't like um no gray between just black and white and You'll be better off. I'm telling you, calmness is calmness is taught. Ninety, more than ninety percent of the day, with my dogs, they're doing nothing. They're calm. They're happy. They're content. They're not bored. I take them out, train them. Well, it's not training. It's more of a lifestyle. It's, when people think of training dogs, they think it's it's a chore. It's a lifestyle of a dog. You know, for example, you're going on a walk. The, it, it, they should always be in the heel. Um, everything they do is, is it, it's just a lifestyle change, and then you, you you'll see a much better dog once you start realizing 
how you are interacting with do your dog every second of the day and what your dog you should know what your dog is, is doing every second of the day you know I for winter time days like this very cold maybe I'll if it's very very cold I'll just run a bunch of training drills in the house and then the rest of the day they're laying down doing nothing um, or I'll go for a walk and then the rest of the day they're doing nothing laying down happy content peaceful but anyways I'm gonna cut this video stop the baby talk stop this uppity um, energy you're you're setting your dog up for failure so I have a bunch of calm dogs right here calm crate calm and calm so that is it